Okay, in today's video, we are going to show you how to remove and repair a Golf Mark 6 or Jera 6 door lock. This is a Jera Mark 6. First, first things first, you're gonna have to open your door pad. The easiest way to go about this just grab a flat head screwdriver, push it into the trim here. Be careful not to scratch it and unclip it. There's three clips, so be very careful and just slides out. Okay, up in this corner there should be a, T, a T30 Torx bolt, which I've already removed for the purposes of this video. Your next step is to go to your window switches. Um, it's gonna be on pretty tight. You just have to pry it up from the bottom, up in the center and the front. And this should just come right out. Then you should just unplug the wire over here which is done by pushing this orange clip back and it should just snap out and there you have it that's out then over here there should be another t30 torx bolt as well as another which will be behind the cover that usually sits here your bolt would be up in this corner here and then there should be one last Torx T20 bolt at the bottom here thereafter your door pad should just come right off and be careful hold it a bit and there are a few wires which you can just unhitch at the back one should be a second one over here second one and the most important is your door cable which is just unclipped like so and then the rest of your wires which just need to be unclipped and I'll see you guys in the next shot okay, so once you have the door pad removed next step to getting your door lock removed is you need to remove this remove this bracket which requires a t30 torx i've already loosened them for the purpose of this video just remove them and your bracket comes out but difficult to film this one-handed Get that aside. Your next step is to grab a flathead screwdriver and pry this cover open. I've already done it a little bit for the purpose of this video, but essentially what you're going to do is just get that in and lift this cover out. It's a bit of a difficult cover to remove but it does come out once you have it out just push this rubber grommet in and the cover should be out your door lock is inside here it's very hard to get this on camera all you have to do is remove this connector from here open your two m6 bolts and once you have it out I'm just going to bring it forward remove this cable which slides out and then you're going to have to slide the lock into this position twist it over and remove the lock and I will show you I will be back with you when the lock is out there we have encountered a problem with their mark 6 golf Jetta in some instances this could be in a Passat as well it is with the central locking mechanism the problem is that it sometimes locks unlocks or it doesn't work at all the first thing you need to do this is not is this is not a commonly serviceable unit but we will show you in today's video how to how to rectify it and fix it 
Okay, so what you're going to start by doing is there should be a small pin here. I've already drilled it out, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to grab a drill, get on a 5mm or 6mm drill bit um, made for steel. You're going to just position it over the pin that is there and drill it out. And then you're gonna, what you're going to need is a small nail of some sort to just place it in there and tap that pin out. It is in there a bit hard so you'll just have to use a little bit of force and that's it. We have the pin out. This is what it looks like. It's a small pin that they smash at the end to create a seal. Then your next step will be to grab yourself a flat screwdriver. You're going to lift up on this edge to get this clip out. It's going to open up a little bit like that. And same thing on the other side. You're just going to have to push this clip down. And there's one more clip at the top. So you're just going to lift this and your lock will separate. Okay, so we've got the lock out of the way and now we need to work on the electronic part of the mechanism. So what you're going to do is on this side where this small nubbit is, you're going to pry it open with a flat screwdriver. What you, what you will need for this video is, uh, or to do this repair, is you are going to need a glue or epoxy of some sort to stick this back together. So what you're going to do is pry it open, it's going to be stuck on pretty hard. You get it crack open in a few. You just do this until you get to the end of it, which is on the other side. And this part should just come apart. So start from the other side of your mechanism is coming apart a little differently. And here we have it. The cover is now off. Be careful because there are a lot of springs and motors in there. I will show you at the end of the video how to put everything back together because usually what happens is all these springs come out and we have a little bit of an issue trying to get them back together. All right. So the common problem with these is this motor over here which actually gets a bit of corrosion on the inside because of its use over time. So what you're going to do is just gently pry it up. It should just pop right out. Just get a small screwdriver in there or something just to lift it out. And then it should just pop right out. And there we have it. Okay, so this is your motor. I'll go over on how to open this in a few minutes. Right. Okay, so this motor controls the locking and unlocking. It demonstrates it as such. That's unlock and that is lock. So what you're gonna want to do is remove this motor and I'll show you what to do with the motor a bit later on. And that's gonna just slip out again. I've actually put it back and that's out. And one thing you want to note when you're putting this back together is that there's a slight pin at the end of this motor. When it's going back in, you're going to have to push it into that cap and then set it down with your pin holes facing up. It's going to go in a bit something like it's a bit difficult, so do take caution. And then just remove it and I'll get back to you on how to open this in the next shot. Okay, so once you have it like this, 
you're gonna have to take out this electronics board from here what you're gonna do for that is just at the bottom here similar to how we've taken out the cover from the from the actual case it's just gonna pry it a little bit and it should just come right out it is in there a bit hard so oh, ah, there you go it's out okay so now that you have the motor out what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to open it up using a flathead screwdriver what you're going to have to do is take this flathead screwdriver push it into these tiny slots you need a very tiny screwdriver by the way you're going to push it down into the slots and you're going to there's a small pin in there okay, let me just show you that if you can see those tiny little pins just in this gap you're going to have to push the screwdriver in and get a lift on those pins and once you have it open it's going to be something like this for getting it apart you just have to lift it out on one side and just pry it open it is a bit difficult it takes a bit of it takes a bit of time so Please be patient when doing it. And then it opens up slowly. It takes a bit of time. A bit of time. So and it should open up like so. And then once you have it out, this should just unclip from here. And should just pop right out that's it now the issue with these motors is that causes the unlocking and locking problem is the corrosion on this slip ring commutator so what I go ahead and do is use a bit of electronic spray should be different depending on where which country you're from I just give it a few sprays to get that carbon pulled up out of there please use electronic spray only as anything else could damage this motor you can also use rubbing alcohol once that dries up you're gonna need a piece of sandpaper and you can have to sandpaper this point I'll demonstrate that in the next shot okay so the next step is to sandpaper it I'm using a bit of 1000 grit water water paper without any water you're just gonna bend it over you can push this motor out slightly just to give you a bit more of an easy room to start sandpapering it and you're just gonna sandpaper on that point that is black notice the corrosion starts to fade away this is actually what causes the problem of it not unlocking or locking Okay, and that should be good enough. And then your next step is to put your motor back together. You do this by pushing the pin through the brushes on this side and align it with the hole on the other side and gently push it in. And it should just pop into place. There you have it. That's the motor part of the motor of the central locking repair.
I'll, I'll get into how to put this all back together in the next shot. Okay, so the next step is to put everything back together. So first step is to take your motor, position it to that slot I spoke about earlier in the video. I'm just going to position it into that slot and it will snap down into place. And that's on mostly secure. Next step is to grab your electronics board and position it so that the prongs on the board are in line with the motors. Please be careful of the micro switches on the board as they are very delicate and could break off very easily. Once your electronics board is into place, you need to grab your manual locking and unlocking mechanism and this just goes into place like so. It stays on quite loose so don't be alarmed. Your next step is to grab your manual locking. It's a different other part of your manual locking mechanism and this slides in over here. Make sure your spring is going as such over the two sides so that it has its returning capabilities. I'll get on to how to put this on a bit later. For now I will show you how to put these two springs on. This first spring, they are a bit of high tension so really be careful when you're putting them on. This just slides into a slot on the electronic part and you probably just have to squish it together and seat it down into the hole onto the locking mechanism like such and then your next spring the easiest way to get it on is to push it into here, into its place then just lift give it a slight lift and you're gonna just push it in to its slot over here a flathead screwdriver it's also under tension so please be careful not to lose this spring I think it's better done with my fingers Okay, and that is your second spring back in its place. Next thing is to align your manual locking part onto its system as such. This just manually controls the locking and unlocking with your key fob. Your next step is to put your cover back on and uh, it is advised to just put it on get uh, grab your pen you are going to need another one please make sure you have another one of these or a screw that will fit through before you start this process uh, what i suggest you do is you glue it back together after testing that the lock me locking mechanism is working. I will demonstrate me doing that in a few minutes. So the next step into putting this back together is to grab any screwdriver and lock your mechanism once again. This is so that the electronics can go back into it easier because there is a part down here that reads whether your lock is locked or unlocked. Um, it's much easier to get it into place once it is once the mechanism is actually locked okay so the next step is to just align it and slide it into place which is going to be just make sure you get it all lined up 
before you actually clip it on that side and there you have it your locking mechanism is now back together okay now that we have our lock back together we are back at the vehicle it's time to put the lock on and test if it is working so just get your wire plugged in grab yourself a screwdriver just put, push the lock into the locking position and lock it with your key and if you just want to test it you can just test with this which is in fact it is actually locked and unlock it does unlock as well with the electronic motor okay so once you've done testing it you're gonna take it out again and just slightly pry your cover open a little bit don't remove it completely as this you just need to and what i've done i've mixed it, some two-part epoxy what i'm going to do is apply a little bit just into this groove because to create that seal that we broke when we initially opened it not too much just a little bit in a few locations and it should be good as you did see when we, when i opened this up there were not there was not glue everywhere it was only certain places Okay, and once you've done putting your epoxy, just close it back down and secure it and let it dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so the first step to getting this lock back in is your exterior handle cable needs to be pushed into its slot, rotated. You just slide it in at the bottom here. Slides in and turn this piece into, and then that locks. The interior handle cable, what I have done is, I do this after I've put the lock back in to make it a bit simpler. Okay. So the easiest way to get this lock back in is to start with the flat side facing the back, slide it behind your window mechanism and Try and rotate it inside. It is a bit difficult, so as always, just be a little bit patient and you can get a little feel for how it's supposed to go in like so. And then we have our lock back into place. And what we will do here is just slide it a bit forward and Grab our cable, which goes in here, just push that in, slide it in, and lock it into place. And then you just want to get your, let me just get those two M6 bolts, just screw the lock into place. two M6 bolts so you can just line up your lock and get your bolts in and 
that's your bolts back in. Then get your M6 attachment. This is an M6 attachment that I'm using. Okay, you need to get your M6 attachment and tighten these bolts down. should be sufficient. Please do not over tighten or strip these bolts as they are not easy to find and could be costly. And that's it. That's your lock back into place. Okay, so your next step is to Put in your lock. Easiest way to get by doing this is to have this T20 screw removed. It comes out from here. Easiest way to do it is to have it removed. Then you just go ahead and slide your lock into place. Put your T20 screw back into back into its place. your T20 screwdriver and tighten it down and don't forget to tighten your ten tensioner screw as well which is the gold one right next to that finish repairing our VW Mark 6 Jetta door lock it's time to test it. That is unlocked. And now it locks with the key. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment.